Hey guys, here's a really easy way to check off having modeled either radiation, conduction, convection, or modeling the water cycle, actually both parts of the water cycle. So here's my stove, pardon it being not perfectly clean, but here's my stove. It's transferring heat to the air here through a process called radiation. It's not touching, you know, it's heating my hand even though it's not, I'm not touching the stove. Then, because the pan is touching the heat source, the heat's being transferred to the pan through conduction. Conduction is when heat is transferred by two objects that are touching. And then we can see here that liquid water is um, heating up, becoming water vapor. And because water vapor is a gas and less dense, it's rising. So I can't see the, I can kind of see how it goes up here and it's traveling along the side over there. And then I can't see it coming back down, but presumably it would cool and fall back down. And my cat just got a piece of my lunch. Hey, <laughs> so anyway, um, radiation, conduction, and convection. If we could see the, the air cooling and coming back down, the water vapor coming back down, it would be the other part of that cycle. Um, or you could say the water is being heated.